the old four cycle black max is out of line so this is a line they sent me with it and today i'm going to show you how to load this full head now the instructions say just take this line first you line up it's your bump stop here let's say it's like this okay first it tells you uh, i don't know if you can see this or not i really need a camera person um tells you line up these arrows with these arrows and this is probably true for most Let me get you around here hopefully you can see that line up this arrow with these arrows now this is probably true for most weed eater heads so you want to turn it's supposed to turn it clockwise boom right there then they tell you to feed this line through there till it comes out over here now watch it do it for you no nope, it's not going to do it for me no nope. now that is a pain of butt now this spool i showed you how to take it out this spool you look right there i don't know if you can see it or not it has a hole that goes all the way through so we'll put the head back on i just want to show you that how that, that's how it works And we're going to put the head back on. Head go on. We're on camera. Okay. You are going to turn your bump stop until those arrows line up here. So this arrow and this arrow. If y'all can see it. This arrow, this arrow. I've moved the camera several times, so I don't know if you're still in focus or not. But, and it will tell you to go clockwise. Now, i got to tell you, sometimes getting this thing in there is quite challenging and it actually worked the first time <laughs> uh, well not the first time but so we're gonna pull this through till we get equal lengths sometimes it's just easier for me to take this pull it to the end Got both ends equal and then work my way back pulling line through the head until keep tension on it until we get equal links up there once you do that ow man, that line cut it sharp Didn't poke a hole in my jean no once we do that then we're going to start turning this head clockwise I like to hold a little tension on it. Sometimes that can be hard to hold the head, to turn the bump and hold the line. But I, I just think it does better if you do it that way. Let's get a little bit more. There we go. Try to get y'all so y'all can see this. Watch me get done and not have none of it in frame. This is much simpler than the older heads that you had to take apart. And then wind it all, you know. They weren't bad, but they weren't as easy as this. I might keep my try to keep my head straight up. I say having a helping hand or putting this in a vise or something would probably speed it up. That's 16 feet of line. Until it's getting full. Get back around there. And this, I think the book, 16 feet, I think the book, I thought it said 090 or 095. I think it said 090. Now, I don't want to leave about six inches out. Maybe one more turn. There we go. That's how you load that head on. Most most modern weed eaters like that. Some vary a little bit, but that's for the black mat. Um, 
Yeah, 095. Okay, good. 095. That does not look like 095, but that's how you're going to load the trimmer head on a four cycle Black Max. So now I have to get off here and actually use it. So thank y'all for watching. I hope that helped y'all. If you're, you know, some of these trimmer heads can be a real pain to work with. Um, honestly, I tried several times before that to get that line through that hole. <laughs> you really have to get, work your line to kind of get it straight through there. Because when it's all curl and stuff, it doesn't like to go in that hole to the other side. So anyway, just saying. Uh, some, and also, um, make sure that your bump stops all the way down. That helps align that hole as well. If you've got it pushed up and you're trying, you, you'll just be going around the spool and it'll be a pain in the ass. So anyway, talk to y'all later. Um, got any questions or comments? Leave them down below. Any tips? Be glad to see them. Donald, one acre homes there. I'm out.